Welcome back to the channel of the Sukhoi Su-75. Checkmate is Russia's bold answer to the global race for fifth-generation stealth air superiority. Unveiled with flair and ambition, this aircraft promises a powerful combination of advanced stealth, high maneuverability, and a cutting-edge digital cockpit all packed into a single-engine design. It's not just about performance, it's also a calculated move by Russia to disrupt the market for lightweight fighter jets and offer an affordable alternative to Western stealth platforms. The design of the Su-75 is a statement of intent. First glance, its angular profile and faceted lines immediately bring to mind stealth characteristics. The airframe is built to reduce radar cross-section, borrowing heavily from the design principles seen in more expensive twin-engine stealth fighters. It features internal weapons bays, sharp inlets, and a distinct forward-swept tail, contributing to low observability its overall structure hints at a highly aerodynamic frame that's tailored for both speed and agility. The engine placement is another area of interest. The Su-75 houses a single, powerful engine believed to be a derivative of the Saturnus Delhi 30, which also powers the Su-57. This engine is expected to deliver supercruise capability, allowing the aircraft to fly at supersonic speeds without afterburners. For a single-engine jet, this is an impressive promise, combining range and performance in a cost-effective platform. The rear end is carefully designed to minimize infrared signature, a crucial advantage in evading heat-seeking. Missiles dot step inside the cockpit, and the Su-75 transitions from raw aggression to refined control. The digital glass cockpit is designed with a fully modern pilot interface, featuring widescreen displays, touch-sensitive panels, and augmented reality integration. It's a clear leap into the era of digital warfare where pilot workload is managed through advanced AI assistance and mission systems automation. The heads-up display HUD and helmet-mounted sight systems are expected to offer 360-degree situational awareness, giving the pilot a serious edge in dynamic combat scenarios. Weapon systems are another pillar of the Checkmate's concept. The internal weapon bays are designed to carry a mix of air-to-air, air-to-surface, and potentially anti-ship missiles. This flexibility makes it a multi role platform capable of deep strike, interception, and tactical support. The jet can carry up to seven tons of payload, and its modular design is set up for future weapon integrations, including hypersonic missiles and loitering munitions. Russia's emphasis on internal carriage ensures the aircraft maintains its stealth profile even when loaded for combat. When it comes to avionics, the Su-75 is built with a digital core meant to support network-centric warfare. It's expected to feature an AESA radar, electronic warfare suites, and data link connectivity that allows it to operate in concert with other aircraft and ground systems. This digital integration is key to survivability and mission success. In modern multi-domain battlefields, Russia aims to pair the checkmate with UAVs, acting as a command node in a larger AI-driven air combat environment. The Su-75's development is as much about geopolitics as it is about technology. Sukhoi and Rostec have made it clear that the jet is targeted at the export market. Countries that may not have access to Western fifth-generation fighters like the F-35 are the prime audience. Its lower cost estimated at around $30 to $40. Million per unit makes it a compelling option for nations seeking stealth capabilities without entering Western defense networks. The Checkmate name itself is symbolic. Russia sees this as a strategic move against the dominance of NATO-aligned aircraft exports in terms of deployment. The Su-75 is still in prototype stages, with first flight originally scheduled within a few years of its reveal. Sukhoi has stated ambitions for a rapid development cycle, thanks in part to digital engineering and modular construction. Using technologies proven on the Su-57, the Checkmate's development benefits from a shorter learning curve. However, challenges remain, including funding, production scaling, and international certification for export. Performance figures are impressive on paper. The Su-75 is expected to reach speeds of Mach 1.8. With a range of approximately 3,000 kilometers, it features supermaneuverability aided by thrust vectoring, enabling it to perform advanced aerial combat maneuvers. Similar to those demonstrated by the Su-35 and Su-57, combined with stealth and AI-assisted flight systems, it's designed to be lethal in both beyond visual range and close in engagements. What sets the Su-75? Apart from its competitors is its approachability in price without compromising on essential fifth-generation features. Most stealth fighters are prohibitively expensive and come with restrictive political strings attached. The Checkmate presents a more open option for buyers in South America, Asia, Africa, and even the Middle East offering a high-tech platform that doesn't require a full-scale alliance or massive infrastructure change. As with any next-generation aircraft, the Su-75's future will depend heavily on whether its promises translate into operational reality. Critics have pointed out the lack of a flying prototype and expressed concerns over Russia's ability to deliver at scale under current geopolitical and economic pressures. Others remain optimistic, noting the country's long history of delivering performance-driven fighter aircraft with real combat capability in the global defense market. Competition is fierce, 
and every platform must justify its existence not only with technical specs, but with reliability, support, and long-term viability. Sukhoi's plan to open production in international partner countries is an ambitious move to create trust and logistic support outside Russia's borders. This could be a major selling point, especially for nations looking to reduce dependency on a single supplier or diversify their defense portfolio. The Su-75 is more than just another fighter. It's a symbol of strategic ambition, an effort to democratize stealth, and a declaration that Russia intends to play a leading role in shaping the future of air combat. Whether it becomes the success story that reshapes the export landscape or remains a niche entry will depend on execution, trust, and timing. But one thing is certain, the Sukhoi Su-75 has already changed the conversation. Its aggressive styling, ambitious tech promises, and geopolitical implications make it one of the most talked about aircraft concepts in recent years. If it takes flight and meets even half of its advertised capabilities, it could become one of the most influential fighters of the 21st century.